Oh guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is because you know, start with the Avengers 2012 lineup because I'm going to do a lot of MCU videos to start with, and then I'll start moving on to some old to Toy Biz, um, Marvel Legends, and Hasbro Marvel Legends, and we'll, we'll just go through the history really. Uh, we go back to the Marvel classics, the Spider Man classics, and X Men classics, and all those kind of things as well. Um, so I thought I'd start off just after the couple of videos I've done uh, with a rate and review video just with some various figures um, based around the Avengers 2012 movie or Avengers Assemble as it was here in the UK. Um, so first off the bat we've got Iron Man Mark 7 which was uh, from the recent Marvel Studios uh, first 10 years uh, line um, which obviously was one of the figures that came um, to do with the first uh, Avengers film, which I think was the third in the line. Third. Yeah, the third. Um, we've also got the Captain America over here, which came with the Bro Thor wave. Um, I have mixed reviews on the feed, but I'll get down to that in a little while. Um, and of course, we've got Black Widow and Hawkeye, which were both. Um, oh, Black Widow is definitely a re release, repaint. Um, I'm not sure. Hawkeye may have been a, a fresh off the bat figure. But they both came with the Hulk Buster Wave, um, the best of Hulk Buster Wave, that is, with the, all the MCU characters, um, which came out in 2015 or 2016, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so that, that's quite cool, um, the pair of those. Uh, again, I have a couple of guys of Black Widow, really love that Hawkeye figure though. Um, and we have Thor, which was a Walmart exclusive, um, which came out obviously with the first Avengers film in, in America. Um, I never got to see the release of these figures here because I wasn't, um, I had a break from collecting Marvel Legends at that point because I just was too young, had no money. Uh, so yeah, I'll be reviewing that as well in a little while and rating it. And then we've got the Marvel Select Hulk here, which is from the first Avengers film, which I find is far superior, if not a little bit out of scale with the Walmart exclusive Hulk. I do have that figure as well and I probably will do a comparison as well in this video. So without further ado, um, let's get down to each one and then we'll regroup at the end. Thank you. So yeah, I'm gonna do these two as a pair to start with because I just think they are a duo in many ways, especially in the first and second Avengers films. Um, so yeah, first off the bat, we've got Black Widow here. Now, I'm gonna rinse this video, but I'm going to give a few compliments first. Um, I've got to say, you know, the head sculpt there is amazing. It does look like Scott Johansson. And you got to remember these figures came out at a time when Hasbro was going through that phase of being well-renowned for not being the most popular um, toy line to basically giving us some pretty stellar, pretty stand-up figures, um, which we'll see later with the Iron Man. Um, but despite the head sculpt, and it's obviously a repaint of the head sculpt there, um, the rest of the body, I don't know, it just, it just looks a bit a bit out of proportion. I mean, the arms here are so delicate, and they just don't seem to have... I mean, Scarlett Johansson, she, 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 she's amazing, but she's not that skinny. It shouldn't be that skinny. Um, and the hips just seem to go out too far for me. And the shoulders there... I don't know, they just seem a little bit kind of masculine compared to the rest of the body. It just doesn't seem to fit. Um, but we've got a nice tushy there. And of course we've got uh, no guns as well. We've got the guns there. We have gun holding hands that came with her as well. Um, but we have no guns for her to hold. Which I think is ridiculous. Um, so this is obviously before they, they cared as much about the uh, accessories and stuff. But yeah, not a terrible figure. Probably give it a five out of ten. Um, it's just not terrible. I'm gonna be quite harsh on some of these figures today, um, just because there are some good figures, and I now know what's good. You know, so this is the Hawkeye. We've got the Hawkeye here, and yeah, I, I can I can see Jeremy Renner there a bit. Um, certain angles more than others. Obviously, looks a bit younger here. Um, I think this this was supposed to be him from Age of Ultron. However, it doesn't look like, because he obviously had the long coat and everything. 
Um, and his costume didn't change that much from the Avengers film underneath that coat. So I think this is a pretty accurate uh, look at him from the first film. Um, so he comes with his bow and arrow. Um, real shame we didn't get any arrows that could come out of the quiver here. You see we have got a nice detailed quiver. Um, if you look at that, you can see all the texture and stuff. And but there's, a shame there's no repaint on there. It's just It's just a solid black piece. Um, however, the bow here, I think we've seen this before, I think this has come with a lot of Hawkeye figures. Um, I think I may have even seen it with a Taskmaster figure as well there. Um, but yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'd give this a slightly higher ranking, probably about 6 out of 10. Um, it's not my least favourite, and it's not my favourite either. But yeah, we'll move on to the next figure. So next up we have America's S. As so delicately put by um, Ant-Man in Avengers Endgame. Um, this definitely isn't America's ass. <laughs> Not in this figure form anyway. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got a lot of reused parts here. Um, and I don't know, it's just... I'll take the shield off. I mean, we've got the same shield we've seen many times. And there's nothing wrong with the mould. I just think it's a bit off-colour. I, know, I get the metallic thing can make things a bit more muted sometimes, but I just feel like cap shields are a lot brighter and just has a better colour scheme. But I like the mould, and I can't complain about that. I mean, positives. Positives. I'll start with the positives. The head sculpt really reminds me of Chris Evans in the first Avengers film. I do like that a lot. Um, and I like the, the, the kind of cowl thing there, the, the helmet. I think it all goes really well. Um, but what, I mean, is this guy not getting his food? Did he not get a super soldier serum or something here? Because the rest of the body, man, this guy looks skinny. It's like ridiculously skinny. It just does, it doesn't look right, man. Um, but yeah, I guess the costume has some inaccuracies as well. I don't remember there being a star on the back of him there, um, which is quite annoying. Um, but then I do like the trim, if you look on the, on the, uh, the, the, the top of the torso there, the chest, you know, you've got all the trims and stuff where the, you know, I guess it would it Velcro or button up somewhere. Um, and the padding looks quite nice. Um, I don't like the fact that we've got two holding hands. I wish we had the fisted hands there, I mean, but then I guess this is, yeah. And the articulation, I mean, I'm not going to do this for everything, I'm not going to do articulation because you've seen these before. But yeah, we got a double jointed knee. But the guy just it's just awkward to stand. I mean really awkward to stand. I mean look, I have to balance him against something, you know. I guess we put the, the shield back on there. But the head sculpts have got better with Chris Evans because as we all know we've had some pretty shocking ones over the years. But yeah, like I say, it's not terrible, but not great either. And next up we have the Thor, which is a, uh, I had to get from America. I got it quite recently as well. Um, it's because I could not find it for a decent price here anywhere. And it's also a Walmart ex exclusive. Um, I really like this guy. You know, I, like I said, I had a new fan appreciation for Thor. I was never that fussed by him before um, Ragnarok, but I think a lot of people... Chris Hemsworth's performances have just got better and better since then. You know, he was my favourite character in Infinity War. Um, and I really enjoyed him in Endgame as well. Um, as, he, as he was Bro Thor, or Fat Thor, um, which we're not allowed to say. We have to call him Bro Thor, which I think is ridiculous, but PC, um, that's, a, that's a thing for another video. Um, yeah, this guy, oh, it's, just, it's Chris Hemsworth. It's so Chris. Um, it just looks just like him. I really, really love the figure. Um, I love them on there. You know, um, only thing I would gripe, I would say, is, is the the um, the handle there. I just wish it had a little bit of some kind of texturing. You know, a little bit of a black wash or something. Um, but the hammer itself, the actual head of it, is really well done. Um, you know, we've got all the all the markings. Yes, guardian markings. And on the top, we've got the, the, uh, well, the top. <laughs> got that mark in that circle on the top. But yeah, I mean, 
it really looks like Avengers um, Chris Hemsworth and I'm really happy with the figure so yeah, yeah. now this is the Marvel Select Hulk um, which I know isn't technically a legend but there we go I, I just love this guy I've had this this is one of the first figures I bought as a teenager slash adult this is when I started to collect as opposed to just having them as toys and uh, it's one of the last selects I own I just could not get rid of him I really, really love this figure. It is possibly a bit too big for the Avengers this way. But, oh man, it's just so good. But just just for the sake of things, I'll just compare him to the Walmart exclusive Hulk from the 2012 Avengers line. And I mean, yeah, I mean, both do the job and they do different things. I mean, obviously, the Select Hulk is very bulky. The articulation isn't as good. Isn't as good. Um... This Walmart exclusive Hulk, the articulation is better, obviously, it's a lot smaller. But I just feel like, you know, like here we get the veins on the Select Hulk, we don't get any of that on the Avengers uh, Hulk. But maybe I'm just being too picky. Um, let's see how they scale against Thor, for example, because he's one of the bigger characters. Uh, I just, I wish the, the Legends Hulk or the Hasbro Hulk would just be slightly taller, just maybe half an inch taller. Um, of course, you've got the Select Hulk. If we just take the Select Hulk, put into this full glory of where he stands. I mean, this isn't Marvel Select's fault because obviously, you know, they didn't make this to go on Legend scale. But yeah, if if if, if the uh, Hasbro Hulk just came up to where his shoulder is. I'd be way happier, um, and I would have him in that display. I do have him in the display? Obviously, you saw the video um, before. He is in my Endgame slash Infinity War main MCU display. Um, but yeah, I mean, just aside from that, I think the Select Hulk is far superior. Then last, but in when no means least. Um, we have the Mark Seven Iron Man, which came with the um, Marvel Studios Ten Years line. Oh man, sorry, I, I just got this thing today. I love it so much. It's just so good. Um, it's just how I envision Iron Man. You know, when I think of the MCU, obviously I love the newer looks for him. You know, oh, but this thing just. So much better. This is, this is how I remember going into the theater and seeing him wear the suit the first time, and then they had the big sort of team up scene where they're all in the circle. And this this is just reminds me of my teenage years, my early teenage years. So sort of bridging from childhood. It's just so good. I would give this a solid ten out of ten. The accessories as well. We've got the two um, effect pieces there. Which I love. I do like these things. Um, I've seen a few of these now. But yeah, I just think they just add something to the figure. It gives it that kind of cartoon effect as well. But not too cartoony that it looks ridiculous. Just enough to, you know, make your figures pop a bit. So yeah, that that is, that is the 10 out of 10. The Hulk, um, both versions I'd give <clears throat> an 8 out of 10. The Cap gets a 4. Um, so I forgot to do this before, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's an amazing figure this Iron Man, and um, the more of these that Hasbro does, the better. Hi okay, guys, so just to recap, I absolutely love this Iron Man figure. Uh, I think they did a tremendous job of that. Um, yeah, mixed reviews on the cap. I do I do like the head sculpt. I think it does look like Chris Evans quite a bit. Um, I think the shield's made it a little bit too bulky, and I think just the articulation just needs a complete rethink. I mean, they've done this figure three times now. Well, they've released the first one twice, and this one is the third go. And with the rest of the figures in that Pro 4 wave, I really think they could have done a better job. But not complaining, it still looks good on display and uh, does the job I needed to. Um, and then Thor is a piece of movie legend, and I really like it. You know, I've had a new understanding, a new appreciation of Thor with the last three film, films he's been in. Um, I really think they've done him justice there. It really does look like a very decent Chris Hemsworth head sculpt. Um, and of course the, the other two and the, the Hulk. Um, I mean, Hawkeye, 
yeah, it looks like Jeremy Renner. It, it does what it's meant to do. <laughs> it's okay. And the Black Widow, I just, yeah, the head sculpt looks like Scarlett Johansson, but unfortunately the body um, is a bit out of proportion in places. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, guys. Please drop a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye.